Hey guys, Wayback Rewind here. A friend of mine was showing me his new 16 terabyte flash drive that he bought online for $8. So those two facts alone, I'm convinced this is fake. He swears that he loaded this up with data, formatted it a couple times, put data on it, and is perfectly fine. I have a hard time believing that. I'm pretty sure it's fake, but we're going to find out if it's real or fake. Coming up next on Wayback Rewind. Hey guys, welcome back. So when my friend told me he was going to buy this 16 terabyte flash drive for $8, I tried to talk him out of it. He was convinced it was real. And so here we are. He showed me this flash drive. It looks pretty nice. It actually has a keychain on it. It's made out of metal. I'm pretty much convinced there's $8 worth of material here. So I don't know how there's even enough money left for anything to be inside. But he tells me he formatted it several times put data on it and it's perfectly fine. Okay, I have no idea how that's possible and here's why. I have here a hard drive. It's a 5T hard drive. This 5T hard drive cost about a hundred dollars. It's a 5400 RPM rotary drive but it's pretty much the state of the art. 5T for about a hundred dollars. You can get a 16T drive about the same size for about three hundred dollars. That is the state of the art. 16 terabyte flash drives, they literally don't exist. The only way this could be real, there's only two ways this could be real in my opinion. Number one, it's based on alien technology. Or number two, it's based on technology brought back from time travelers from the future. So given those two options, I think the third option is far more likely that this is fake. You say, why is it fake? Because people are selling this online for very cheap so that people that are thinking they're getting a great deal, something for nothing, they're going to run out and buy this. And next thing you know, it's it's fake and it, it's not enough money for them to worry about it. And they just chalk it up to a learning experience and they move on with their life. But I'm going to try this out and see exactly what it is. Okay. I'm going to try this out by using a 15 year old computer. The same computer that I use for Firewire copying a video. It's an old Dell D830. It's from the early 2000s. I'd be a little upset if it gets corrupted, but my friend swears that he formatted this drive and that it's, it's completely blank other than some data he copied on here that's perfectly fine. We'll find out. We'll see exactly what's on this drive. I have not plugged this in yet, so we're, we're going to see what exactly it is. Okay, the drive is plugged in. Norton wants to scan this drive. Should I scan it? Yeah, why the heck not? Let's go ahead and scan it, see what happens. Okay, so this drive was scanned. No threats were found. That's a good sign. This drive is showing 15.2 terabytes free out of 15.2 terabytes. Is that true or is that fake? I am going to find out. Okay, he told me he copied a bunch of files on here. For some reason, it's just showing blank. Okay, that's suspicious. Okay, fake flash drives is such an epidemic now. I actually found seven free tools to check for the real capacity. It's kind of sad that such a thing has to exist, but these fake flash drives are all over the internet now. People think they can get impossible things for little tiny bits of money, which is always a good sign that it's scammers trying to capitalize on greed. So I'm going to download some of these tools and try out this drive and see what it really is. Okay, the first program I downloaded can't even read this drive, so that's not a good sign. So that's one strike. Let me try something else. It shows to have data on it when I do properties, but I can't read it at all. Okay, I'm going to give this one last try. I'm going to reformat it and see what I can do with it. It can't format it for some reason. Well, it's just a brick now. It's an $8 keychain. Okay, don't ask me why, but it started working. So I'm going to try to copy some videos and pictures from my Wayback Rewind backup drive and just see what I can copy of this drive and see if it acts like a normal drive or like a corrupted mini ripoff keychain. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to try to copy a 10 gigabyte file, see what happens. 
super slow. That's a, it's kind of a bad sign. Super slow, 10 megabytes per second. That's super slow. I still can't figure out, even though I'm now supposedly reading this drive, it doesn't show up on any of my programs that I've downloaded. I don't understand that. None of the programs that I downloaded was able to access this drive. It seemed to be appearing and disappearing randomly. And I was able to copy a couple of files to it, and now it's being unresponsive when I try to copy more. It's behaving very badly. I think there's zero chance this is a 16 terabyte drive. Whatever drive it is, it's behaving very badly and it's not working reliably at any capacity. So, so I finally decided to plug this into my newest computer because my old computer was just being too unresponsive. And I let this thing run all night. And the next morning when I looked at it, it appeared to have copied every single file off of my Wayback Rewind drive, over 302 gigabytes, was apparently copied. But it turned out it was just an appearance. It pretended to copy 302 gigabytes, but in reality, less than 60 gigabytes would actually open. I went through and painstakingly saw which files would open and which ones would not. And then I narrowed it down to the files that would open. It ended up being less than 60 gigabytes of files that would actually open. So I ran the properties of my original drive, my original Wayback Rewind drive, and then I ran the properties of the flash drive. And here's where this gets really insidious. Windows reports that everything is fine. Windows reports that all the files are there and Windows did not indicate that anything went wrong. And so you think, I have just copied 302 gigabytes of files onto this flash drive. And it turns out that less than 60 gigabytes of those files would actually open. I went through and painstakingly found all the files that would open. It wasn't that difficult in reality because the ones with the little traffic cones would basically wouldn't open and the ones with thumbnails would open and so the files wouldn't open because they're simply not there because what happened is when I was copying over this hard drive all night long only the files that are still remaining are the ones that were not overwritten by files that came later and it turns out if this drive only contains about 60 gigabytes of memory and so that's the total amount of files that would be stored. And the new files that we're copying were just overriding the old files. And Windows doesn't report any errors. I don't know exactly how they get around that, but they somehow trick Windows into thinking the full capacity is there, but somehow those files are getting erased. And so I went in and deleted the files that would not open. And again, the, the properties are showing that it's about 60 gigabytes worth of memory and so now I have a disk containing just files that are good good files and so now for what it's worth I have a 60 gigabyte or so flash drive full of good files all of these files would open normally and you think okay maybe it's not really full maybe there was just something weird that happened in the copying process and maybe there's more room on this drive I said, okay, so let me try to add a few more small files to this drive. So I sat here and I sorted the hard drive by size and I tried copying over just a few little JPEGs just to see what would happen. And they appeared to copy successfully. So you think, okay, maybe there's more room on this drive. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it doesn't hold just 60 gigabytes. And so after copying a few of these files on here, and then wait to see what happens. Open them and it, all is not good. The new files are all corrupted. None of the new files would open. None of the new files were copied successfully, even though Windows generated no errors, even though there was no indication that nothing went wrong. But when I go to open those files, they're simply not there because there was no room for them to be written to. 
At this point, the drive truly is full at the 60 gigabytes or so of storage. Here's the thing, it gets worse. Those files that I previously verified as good, those files are all good, except when they're not. Files that previously played are now corrupted. In attempting to copy those small files down there at the bottom, I have now corrupted one of the files that's previously good. So there you have it. This Lenovo drive is supposedly 16 terabytes. It was supposed to be a gift from heaven. It turns out it's fake. It's not alien technology. It's not from the future. It's just simply fake. So please like or subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.